nightmare on Steele Avenue. Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Hannibal Lecter, creepy clowns. It looks so real, it's scary. Can't have a Halloween display without the Headless Horseman. If you get spooked by this Staten Island display, blame brothers Jason and Michael Levy. We also added uh, the child catcher from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Roar! <laughs> While most kids are scared on Halloween, for as long as they can remember, these siblings have been thrilled by it. We had a passion when we were little for horror films, and we grew up watching them, so that's why we love Halloween so much. It's one of our favorite holidays. Which they inherited from their grandfather, making their first life-size character with him about two decades ago, a Scream replica. Once he passed away, me and Michael decided to honor him. We wanted to build one each year for him, so it turned into this madness. No mannequin is the same. Some masks they buy, some they make, but they take time to find different items to piece them all together. If my mother's looking for any of her pillows, they're all right here, stuffed in twisting. One of about two dozen full-size characters which live inside most of the year. We've basically taken over our parents' basement. Halloween runs in the family blood. These were actually my mother's from when she was a kid. Costume after costume, decorations, masks. There could be somewhere between 75 to 100. It's a mix of the brothers' passion for Halloween and horror films. They actually make movies with their own company, Fuzz on the Lens Productions. That's what we do in film. We get dressed up, we play characters. In Halloween, you get dressed up, you play characters. And they'll keep sharing their love for the holiday on the screen and on their front lawn. And when this display gets too big, don't worry. Their grandmother lives next door. We want to just make Halloween great again. It's the whole, it's the whole thing. We want to have kids come by. And, and look at the house and just feel the way that me and Michael felt when we were kids. If you want to come check out the display, the lights turn on here every night at 7 p.m. And if you stop by on Halloween, who knows? You may get a bit of an interactive experience. In the New Dorm section of Staten Island, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. <laughs> Those poor kids. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> the brothers say that they want to eventually open up a museum so that they can display, uh, or so, rather, so their display can live well beyond the holidays. And by the way, here is another haunted display featuring the dead skeleton and the rolling bones. It was sent to us by Peter Tiernan in Waldwick, New Jersey.